Good morning, everyone. This is Brother Lake coming to you with an episode of The Simple Truth. This is episode six, I believe. I want to talk a little bit about this coronavirus and what we need to realistically look at because some of you are stupid and utterly dumb. And I'm talking dumb, like epically dumb. I mean, so stupid and so petrified of everything that you are living in constant fear. You claim you don't trust the media, but they give you and bait you on a disease or a sickness that isn't even mathematically affecting the country. Not mathematically affecting the country at all for any reason. Not mathematically affecting the globe. You let people use words like epidemic and pandemic. You let them use these words and you don't logically think the majority of you are stupid. I'm sorry. You're so dumb and I can't stand it. Sorry. If this causes me friends, then so be it. But if you want me to panic, let's put this in some reality because many of you don't deal in numbers. I'm a numbers guy. I used to be in the financial industry. Got to deal in numbers. There are 1.4 billion Chinese. 1.4 billion Chinese. There are 350 million Americans. There are four times as many Chinese as there are Americans on the planet. Now, in China, about 2,500 people are dead from this virus. And even if it's 25,000, we're going to put this in perspective. When you calculate that into a 1.4 billion population, it is not a pandemic. It is not an epidemic. It is not a life-altering global threat. That's nonsense. The World Health Organization and many people want you to panic because they want to see an economic slowdown. Now, we have got 2,500, 2,500 people in China approximately dead that they're reporting. We have zero people dead in America from the disease. And we have less than 50 people who actually have the disease here in this country. Zero people dead, less than 50 have it. You've had five or six people dead outside of China worldwide. So out of a planet of 7.5 to 7.6 billion people, you've had five people dead outside of China from this sickness. And you want to panic. You are a moron. You are stupid. Now stop it. Grow up. Get your balls about you, especially you guys. <laughs> Stop it. Sick of it. Sick of it. Here's some real math for the dummies. The CDC has already said in this year alone, 2020 and 2019 flu year, the 2019 to 2020 flu year, 31 million people are going to get the flu in America. 31 million, that's over, that's a, just right around 9 to 10 percent of the population. Right around 8.5, sorry, to 9 percent, if my math is correct, of the population will get the flu. 200 to 400,000 people are going to be hospitalized, and anywhere between 19 to 30,000 people are going to be dead, and they know that because 19,000 people have died in America from the flu that I, right now, and many people are fighting. It's a little hard to breathe. I'm going to the bathroom a lot. But if I don't take care of myself and stay hydrated and try to take some of the medicines we have, I could be hospitalized and I could die from the common flu. But you want me to panic over a mathematical improbability. More people will die in America today falling off a ladder. More people will die today by shooting themselves accidentally with their gun. More people will die today by getting into a car accident. More people are going to die today in America by simply tripping and smashing their head off the sidewalk. That's a fact. 
But you would rather live in fear. And you would rather live in panic. Now, if you really want to know what's going on, is they want to scare the bejesus out of you. So that later on this year, when there's a 10% market correction, 10%, you're at 29,000 in the market right now. When there's a 10% market correction, 2,900 points, they're going to scream and say, the sky is falling, don't elect President Trump. That's what this is coming down to. All of this is being engineered to make you afraid. But nobody cares that 19,000 people are dead from the flu already. Nobody cares that 30 million people don't have health insurance in this country. Nobody cares about that. That's not their number one. That should be a priority. But this thing, this corona, whatever, is not a pandemic. It's not. And we need to stop using those words when describing this. And I know there's some very good conservatives. You need to think for yourself. Too many of you are led around by the nose by these morons on TV. They want ratings. What part of that don't you understand? They want clicks and they want ratings. And if you don't wake up and realize that, you're going to be trapped. <clears throat> you're going to be trapped. You're trapped in your mind and then you call yourself a Christian. That's what really bothers me. You got a lot of Christian morons. Got a lot of Christians that are dummies. You're dumb. And you gotta stop. You're supposed to have the mind of Christ. You're supposed to be able to reason some of these things. And sit there and say, geez. Do you know an idiot got on here today and said, oh, you got to wash your hands. You got to watch touching people. What, the same thing I've been teaching my children and my grandchildren now for over 30 years almost? about getting the flu, I got the flu because I can't get a flu shot. So, took my grandchildren in for a checkup. They got to get physicals. So they went in for their yearly physical. It was about that time. Well, a bunch of little rugrats are in there coughing their brains out. So guess who got sick? Yours truly got sick three weeks ago. And I'm fighting it. But if I don't take care of it, I can end up dead. But when I see the stats that 31 million people are going to get this 400,000 hospitalized and possibly 30,000 dead when there's already 19,000 dead from the flu in America, and then I'm supposed to turn around and say, oh, less than 50 people have this Chinese coronavirus. What? How many? No. Oh, oh no. Oh, please, no. I don't want to get this mathematical improbability. You look stupid, and you look dumb. And if you don't think you do, then fine. And if this costs me followers, I don't care. Grow up, man up, woman up, stop it. Stop living in fear. Stop it. You don't want to shake hands with people? Then don't. I don't shake a lot of hands. I don't. Do a little fist bump, that's okay. You don't have to hug everybody. You don't have to turn on and tell peace be with you. You don't have to do that. But we don't do those things normally. But when you let the media hype you and then some other idiot tells me I'm not watching the market, the market's at 29,000. The only thing that's happening right now is supply chains are being moved away from China and they have been now for a two year period that there's been a trade war with these people. And I wish a lot more things would move away from China. Do you know 80% of our prescription drugs are made between China and India? I wish they weren't. I wish they weren't. I wish they were made almost anywhere else. But guess what? That's it. That's where they're made. Ooh, Apple's not going to hit. Apple's not going anywhere. Walmart's not going anywhere. If you think these companies are going anywhere, then you're mad. You're, you're, you're out of your mind. They're not going anywhere. The big four are not going anywhere. Facebook's not going anywhere. Twitter's not going anywhere. These companies are here, and they're going to be here for at least another 20 or 30 years. So when somebody's got you panicking, and it causes a stock sale or something, the institutional investor causes a stock sale. The institutional investor. 
And when you have a market of 29,000, I remember when there wasn't a market of 10,000. I remember when there wasn't a market of 5,000. But when you have a market of 29,000 and the market moves less than one, 100 points isn't even a half a percent. But you let these people believe you, have you believing that there's a panic. If you think this is harsh today, I don't care. You need to grow up. Man up, woman up, and stop it. Get a little balance in your life. Get your priorities straight. And stop living your life in fear. Stop it. And grow up. And don't come to me on Twitter and here telling me, <laughs> I don't care. I'm sick and tired of that nonsense. Stop it. Stop it. 30 million people in America don't have health insurance. 100,000 people died last year because of complications with their diabetes since they couldn't get medicine. 100,000 people. Those are CDC numbers. And you want me to worry about what? As a diabetic, that's what I worry about. Oh, you can't get your medicine? Oh, that's a little more concerning to me. A little priority, ladies and gentlemen. A little priority. Because it's all on you. And that's the real truth. You guys have a great day.